this tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the right of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. To become a seeker, I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the Vigil summoned the Spirit of Faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility, and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry. Not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? I can't foresee the future, Cassandra. But we know the past. Those who do not heed history are doomed to repeat it. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. Rebuild the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own.